to Lisa Marvin Art. <clears throat> Another fun day today. I think <coughs> I am going to do, I am, not I think. I'm gonna do a video today about how to go big with your blooms, some tips. Don't know if it's gonna work, what's gonna happen, but we are just going for it. I have a two footer here, okay? First tip number one, which I actually haven't tried yet, but this is what I'm thinking in my head. Um, the goal is to get this, and it's not going to, but the goal is to get this to look as tight as a coaster does. And there's a few reasons we can never do that with the tools that I have. It's just the sheer size of the hole that is blowing, whereas on the coaster we're like this, and with the first blow I can get it over the edge. That can't happen here unless I get like some industrial thing, which I might one day. Um, but I figured, uh, if you don't know, Atelier as a cell activator acts different than an Amsterdam cell activator. Now, normally I actually don't like this cell activator from my pouring medium, but people in Australia really like it. Um, Shelly thinks it works better for her pouring medium. The reason I don't like it is because it's quite thick. So what happens is it takes a longer time for the cells to develop and you get bigger cells. Now people are like, but I like big cells. Well, if you like big cells, this is the way to go. Uh, but you know, I like cute little tiny cells. Um, however, in my head, I'm thinking if you get big cells and then you stretch this out, cells might be big enough to reach over to the edge. I don't know. Like, we're just playing around here. So what I have is blue indigo, blue black, okay, and pale gold. I don't think I've used the blue black. I use the pale gold often, so it does give big cells, okay? We're gonna mix these up as cell activator. Now, tip number two for when you're practicing, I'm not using any pigments. And the reason is, is because it can affect things if you don't know what you're doing. So I just grabbed whatever two bees I had out, okay? Number one, we have this Amsterdam grayish whatever. It's a crazy color combination, and this is the type of stuff I used to do when I first started blooming, because I just used whatever I had without thinking, okay? We have a phthalo blue. We have a custom purple that I made um, with dots, purple and white. I'm gonna throw in the expensive, because we still have this here, Yinmin Blue, the most expensive blue in the world. This is all that's left. No, I have like a, the tube still, but this is from my first. I've been using it. It's lasting a while, anyways. Uh, we have Light Phthalo Green. Light Phthalo Green. We have another custom I made with Triart Violet, Quiller Violet, Violet, and then they're iridescent. Cause I still want sparkle, but it's a tube sparkle. Also, I mixed up another video. Um, this is a schminky gold. It's fine, you know? And then I have what it looks like to be Australian red violet. Uh, I'm just gonna thin her down a bit. Okay, next, let's talk about pillow. Your pillow shouldn't be too thick cause you gotta spin it out. Um, I'm sorry if I have enough here. So I, it's probably not enough. I have some of this, uh, what is it called? Pure white, Sherwin Williams, which I add water to. What's this one? This is, oh, Wishful Blue. You don't want that, that's pretty. Um, I might get another white. Oh, it's on the floor here. Oh, those are empties. Okay, but anyways, yeah, I'm gonna get another white because I just don't think this is enough but I have <clears throat> excuse me I have to thin it out anyways so let me get another white and then let me make put this down and then we'll make our cell activator be right back so uh firstly I chose I have this something called mountain air it's just kind of like a grayish tint I don't really care about it um I did add some water to thin and let us mix the cell activator now. Okay, so I have my Australian flow troll. I'm not gonna use too much because I know I don't love the cell activator. All right, so 
So this is gonna be thicker than your regular Scottish Vader. I'm just gonna put like, let's say one ounce because that's all I want, okay? I would start with like a three to one ratio whenever you do something and then you can fiddle around with it. Now the gold is always gonna look thicker. I don't remember about the black. So we're gonna bloop it in, bloop, okay? And really we're just looking for consistency. And like I said, most of the time, and you have to mix for a minute, um, it will look more like towards your pouring medium than regular cell activator. It does take a minute, so why don't we just do this? Doobity do, right? <laughs> it's quite pale. They have different, oh look, I have this gold here too. So this is another of their gold. Um, don't you wish I could read it? But this is their deeper gold. I don't mind their pale gold though. Okay, so it's, it's incorporated. It's, there's a trace to it. Fine by me. Let's try this one. Same thing. Blue. Ooh, it's a really pretty like I can see the blue in there for sure. Now let's talk about hair dryer. Uh, I'm gonna use a bigger hair dryer, not a travel hair dryer, because I want the biggest mouth possible, and it's not even that big. I'm using another Baby Lips Pro, and it's kind of intense. So I'm, unfortunately, I'm not gonna know until the first blow. Um, <laughs> you know, if the consistencies match the blow dryer. Uh, intensity so okay so ugh, this got quite light so we're gonna have to put more in didn't it unless it's just chunky and it needs a minute so while I'm mixing let's discuss the plan um, the plan is is I'm gonna put a lot of paint down in the middle and I'm going to try to blow out as far as possible. This is really where consistency, see it's getting nice already. Um, consistency really is key. And I'm just concerned because it's very hard to tell the consistency of these pillows, like if they're gonna work or not. Okay, this got quite lumpy, so I'm gonna actually add more flow control to it. I probably should have just been patient and not added that second bloop. But anyways, it incorporated nicely and it's a nice color, so I don't mind that. Let's hope it works though, right? The way I want it. Um, I think what we're gonna do is put it under the gold. So I'm gonna put the gold on top. Okay, let's see how we did. Still quite thick. I am still gonna thin her out a bit. I'm gonna have to light the cell activator because I'm making so much of it. Um, okay, enough of this business, let's get to work. So, paint wise, um, normally, you know, we cover the whole thing. Let's get this out of the way. Um, and we spin, etc. However, um, I'm gonna spin it really fast so everything really disperses. So I'm just wondering how we're doing with this consistency. If it's, mm, mm, I'm nervous. I should probably thin it out a bit more. Let's see how she is. Yeah, see, she's still quite. Thick. Now, I do want her somewhat thick. You don't want it too thin. You know why? Because I really want popping cells and thicker paints make better cells. But too thick, you blow out your colors, which I don't like. All right, this is the last draw, then we're gonna do it. And then we're gonna go for it. I know I can get no problem the color to the edge and I know I can get the cells to the edge, but I want to make them 
as much looking like a coaster as possible. You know what I mean? All right, we're going for it. Now, here we go. Hold on, getting something dirty over here. Okay. Okay. That's fine consistency. That's fine. It's thin enough. All right, hold on, I saw a little yucky. Okay. Is it too thin? We'll never know <laughs> until later. Okay, another yucky. Even if this doesn't work, these are good tips, okay? Just so you know. So I don't feel like it's a complete waste of time. There's a lot of little yuckies in this one. And then you see how it's getting thicker by the bottom because that's just what happens. Put a little more thick in the middle here. And then I'm going to spin her out or sp ooh, spread it out a little bit. Yeah, I think one can shall be good. All right, yeah, there we go. Just get her out there. Cause we don't have all day, right? All right, let's spread her out. Yep. Gosh, sorry this is taking so long, but I guess, you know, bigger you, it takes longer to do stuff. But let's discuss. I'm going to California. I might be there currently as you're watching this. I don't know. Um, we are very excited. We have plans already to go. My sister lives in San Francisco. So we're gonna go there and do touristy things. And then we're gonna drive down the coast. We're gonna go to Carmel. We're gonna stop in LA area-ish. And then we're gonna go down to San Diego. I'm really excited. Okay, so we have this here, okay? Let's see. Now, I'm just going to push the paints more evenly. All right. Are you ready to layer? We're not even currently, why not? Um, my spinners uneven, which you don't want. All right. Do you know what I just did? I'm not even telling you what I just did. Doesn't matter what I just did, but I might have just spilled um, the cell activator I just made, but I'm saving it as we speak. And I'm not swearing, by the way. <laughs> try not to swear okay but sometimes when things are hurtling at me and they shock me I might swear but in this case you see how calm I was because I know it really um offends some people especially you know so I do apologize I did lose a few viewers a few videos ago for my swear but to be honest my paint my my phone was hurtling towards my paint and it and it was just a bit of a shock anyways that's no big deal I'm not saying anyone's name in vain because I just did that <laughs> while I've been talking so long. This is thickened up. So I am gonna thin it a little bit because we want all of our layers to be nice. So I'm starting with this purple and <laughs> we are making a puddle. You know what I mean? We're just puddling it up. And I'm gonna make it quite big because we want full coverage. Again, at this point, I don't care what it looks like. What our aim, full coverage and cells that go over the edge, okay? Let's see if I can at least do that. Oh gosh. Aren't I funny with human? Okay, we're gonna use the rest of this um, Australian red violet. It says my storage, my storage was full, so I had to erase some things. Okay, let's continue. Holy cannoli. We have the violet with the trier iridescent. Okay. 
we have, let's get back in the middle. We have Sailor Turquoise. I'm just laying them on at this point, you know what I mean? Okay, put this over here. We have the Schminky Gold. I'm just drizzling at this point, so there's different layers and you know, I'm not just plopping on thick paints. Okay, next I have the mint green. I should say phthalo, light phthalo, and it's thickened up as well. So I'm just gonna, then I'm gonna top it off with the Yinmin blue. I'm not just, I'm gonna like just drizzle, you know, I don't wanna waste her. It is a very intense, cool color for sure. Okay, so this is the base layer and it's covered ab about, you know, what I'd want it to be covered, about a third, okay? Ta-da! Now, um, let me get this boob light. Let's discuss my, so I'm just concerned about my hair dryer, but at this point, whatever, right? We're not looking for perfection. We are just looking for these tips. Because let me tell you why. So this is the hair dryer, baby lizard. Turbo Extreme, which is like, okay. Okay, it's not too intense actually. Okay, we're good. So let me layer now the cell activators, okay? We're doing the, Indigo, blue black, that's a lot. And then the gold, and we're gonna blow, are you ready? Holy cannoli, let's go. Watch the cells form. Hold on. Okay, I wanted you to get a better angle. So the ones in the middle, <clears throat> um, like these ones also, they're gonna get quite large. Now I am gonna blow, should I blow into the gold a bit? Yeah, I will, hold on. I did one little blow, I don't know if I need it, but you see how big these cells are getting? Huge, right? Okay, so let's spin it. All right, we're just gonna spin for our lives. Ready? With nothing in the way. I wonder if we're gonna reach the edge everywhere now. I don't know. Oh, there's a yucky right here. Hmm, okay, it's seeming to go that way. We might not get the edge everywhere, but maybe we don't care. Um, let's keep going. so shabby if you ask me I don't even care if it doesn't reach the edge right so you want to start looking for th 
when they're starting to warp, which you don't want so much, when they start like trying to reach for the edge and it's getting difficult for them. I just don't like that warping personally. I don't know if you guys mind. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. Um, I'm gonna tilt. I don't really need to spin that much more actually. Um, and I don't even mind what she looks like. Um, I don't mind the negative space. You know what I mean? Huh. I know we were hoping for like a coaster looking thing, like where it's full coverage, which again is just a um, consistency thing if I had a thinner pillow. But then again, if I had the thinner pillow, we wouldn't have as good cells. Yes, I just dripped on there. Don't worry, we'll fix that. Um, okay, so just do that. I think I'm good. Like I'll give him one more, one more spin, spinnerini. Okay. Okay. Well, then there you go. I hope these tips were helpful. Um, because I think it's not a bad piece that we just did. So I'm gonna do a close up. Let me know what you think, and um, I love you guys. Bye.